What's going on right here? Oh, we got it. We talked about noodling last week. Nick, what's going on here? Uh, Chappelle actually heard after we posted our video with our big shirtless friend uh, that went oh. popular. Uh, there's like a queen of noodling. It's Hannah Barron. Uh, she's just a star. She had some video of her pulling out of like a 40 pounder with her hand that got 15 million views. Mm. Jesus Christ. And everybody was tagging her in all our videos. And I thought if we wanted to learn a little bit more about noodling, we could try FaceTiming her. Ooh. Uh, I talked to her yesterday. She was cool with it. And she was like, just hit me up. She had a really busy day. She was waiting for her elk mount. She had to get an AC for a boathouse, but she said, try her. She hasn't responded today, so she might not even answer. All right, well, let's chill out Tom Cruise of noodling. <laughs> Do we want to try I'm sure you can find some five minutes for King of the Sting. <laughs> I, think the cat, I think the catfish can wait. You feel me? Well, uh, should we try? Let's try her, huh? You I think? think? Yeah, I think Dick's sporting good will let you, give you 10 minutes of your time. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. I didn't know what we were talking yeah. about. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, look at that fish. That thing is beefy, huh? <laughs> Sticky catfish, dude. You, you got to see one of her photos. Her. Oh, there she is. Hey, Hannah. Miss Noodle herself. Hey, hey, hey oh, Hannah. I'm sorry. Can, she, can you ask her to turn her camera? Then she can see both of you. Can you turn your camera sideways and you can see both of us? Yes, I'm going to my truck where I can hear a little better. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, there he goes. Go. What's up? We're just a couple of guys who are. <laughs> we want to know more about noodling. Yeah, we want to know more. You're the queen. Queen Noodle. I try. Hang on. Oh, I'm about in the truck I'm right here. I, I don't know noodling. Think of something oh, right okay. now. <laughs> oh, Jesus, dude. I'm so nervous. Okay, there we go. We got the Michael Jordan of noodling. No, you're talking. Be thinking. We got the How joint. We got the joint What's up, Hannah? Of, we got the joint sparks of noodling. Not much. I got here to pick me up a new refrigerator since mine decided to quit working on me. What happened? What happened to it? It's hard not to say. Fitted that. for her wedding dress, so I figured I'd stop and see her. Oh well, that's sweet. Who's getting married? <laughs> They're getting married July 11th. It was supposed to be in April, but you know the whole coronavirus stuff kind of messed that up. Yeah, well, um, are, and are you getting them, do people, like, say if you have to get somebody a gift for their wedding, do they look at you as, like, do they always think you're going to bring them in something from kind of underwater? <laughs> like some fried catfish? Probably. It'll be one of the bridesmaids. Oh, wow, oh, wow. that's beautiful. So far, I've got her some cooking stuff. Oh, nice. That's a lot of responsibility. Now, so you, nobody reaches into the dark... <laughs> dark abyss and pulls out something that you could eat better than you um what do you think takes you to that next level as far as noodling goes like what is it about you do you have is it is it a body thing is it a brain thing like do you have lean arms is it do you have kind of you know do you have kind of wormish type of fingers brendan has lean fingers yeah are, are, are you just fearless is it a fearless thing I think it's more of a crazy thing than fearless. Mm -hmm. You got to be a few notches off in the head. Yeah. All right. I well, like that. Well, I'd be pretty good at it then. <laughs> yeah, Brendan would just stay under there forever. No, it's not, it's not that bad. I mean, ever since I was little, we've been, I live in the middle of nowhere in South Alabama. You Roll know, Tide. Cut a redneck upbringing is what I had. And my dad's super big in the woods and. On the water, we run trot lines coming up. I've hunted ever since I could walk. I could clean a deer by myself when I was 10 years old. So Damn, girl. Damn, Damn girl. That is Eight sexy. years ago, actually. So. Yeah, it's easy. Um, when we started that, it just kind of fit. And so, now you're good at catching these big dogs underwater. Um, do... <laughs> What is it? Does this transfer over into your dating life? Like, are you like, how is it for reeling in these <laughs> these land cats, these men? <laughs> Surf and turf. Tough, yeah, that's surf and turf, turf girl. It's harder than catching a catfish. Is it really? I'm sh oh, yeah. I'm sure your DMs are f filled with noodlers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Now, I have a whole album in my phone that's dedicated to screenshots of weirdos that either message me or comment on my stuff. Oh, I wish I could see know. that. Oh. <laughs> this is a good chance our producer Nick's in there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if he made that cut, then he said something pretty outlandish. Well, <laughs> How do you think I got her on the show? Yeah. <laughs> Hannah, I think it, I, I think that'd be a really funny book if you ever put that out, just to see all of the things, all the unique pickup lines 
that somebody would send um you know there would just be so many so many funny angles people could go at especially the guys she gets <laughs> yeah. them southern bumpkins hey uh oh, so yeah. uh, is there noodling season like is there seasons to it in some states, there is a legal season, but we, we're mostly in Alabama. We've noodled in Alabama, Tennessee, Illinois, Kentucky, North Carolina. We've noodled several places. But in Alabama, there's not a legal season. It's just when the water warms up enough for them to bed. And so, so right now, they're first start. I've oh. only caught one fish this year, and she tore me up. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Wow. And so, oh, yeah. Is it, my arm will be blue in a few days. And, and when, God, that is bruised, sexy. Damn, girl. Shooting that uh, Ford Raptor, me, too. Good. Hey, now, and, and uh, so what tears you up? Their teeth or their whiskers? Their teeth is like sandpaper. That's a stupid question. <laughs> and, you know, it was a good question. And now. Oh, and they just bite so hard. No, you're it's good. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Especially the blue cats, because mainly we catch flatheads and blue cats. Now, flatheads have a bigger mouth, but the blue cats bite about ten times harder. Boy, I'd love oh, to go down there and try that. You're a flathead. I'd love to try <laughs> that. Uh, yeah, now, you're, you're a blue mouth. Uh, blue blue mouth. Now, what blue about cat, this, yeah. Hannah? So, when you reach under the water... Do you just reach anywhere? Is it just like fishing where I just put the line in wherever? Like, do you have like a little worm in your hand? Like, what do you do? Well, we find where they're bedding. They've got, we've got hundreds of natural holes that we've found over the past eight years. They bed pretty much anywhere that sunlight can't get to because sunlight will kill their eggs. Ah. So we've, under concrete is really good. Like under boat ramps and all. Oh, wow. We've got hundreds of natural holes under boat ramps under sea walls that we have found <laughs> in every lake that we go to but we also put out boxes we've always started doing that in the past few years because it's just it's more fun mm -hmm. you stick your arm in there and usually you don't have to get that deep in there and they're blowing your hand up oh hell yeah dude hell it's yeah. like uh, kind of like a christmas at like kind of a gay men's club a little bit <laughs> yeah they blow you up um are they scared of them? blowing it up but now, because the whole concept of it is the catfish are when they first go in it's the male and he's cleaning out the hole the nesting area for the female to come in and lay her eggs once she lays her eggs she leaves and the male stays in there so what they're doing is they're protecting their nesting area and their eggs because brim other fish will come in and eat their eggs. So when you put your hand in there, they're attacking you. Wow. Now, 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 do you have a hatred for catfish, or is it more of a sport thing? I love them. We eat a good bit of them, but most of them we turn back, and they go right back to their eggs. Oh, that's cool. So, Amen. And we're that... not hurting the fish. We've been doing it long enough that we know how to hold them where it doesn't hurt them at all. But we'll keep some of the smaller ones to eat because we do love fried catfish. Oh and, and, God, and, what's the, and what's the biggest one you've caught? Well, I caught a flathead last year, and there was two scales we used. One of them said it was 61 pounds, and the other one said 76. Woo, dog. So we just split it in half and said 67. Ooh. But she was huge. She was a fatty. She was swallowing me almost up to my elbow. Oh, oh my man. God, that is sexy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that cat, when that catfish deep throws that elbow, dog. It gets naughty, man. Fish are wild, man. I've yeah, seen some dirty. videos. They're dirty um, so... <laughs> Now, are you able to compete with this? Like, I mean, you have such a huge following. So many people are fascinated. I think, um, are you are you able to take this? In, is there a competitive world for this? There's not much of one, just because. I mean, some people love it. People that try it either love it or they hate it. But there, it is. It can be dangerous. Like, how, how so? Well, the one fish I've caught this year was a blue cat. My biggest blue cat. It was 61 pounds. It's the hardest I've ever been bit. And they can break your arm. Ooh. If they spin just right, they can break it. You... The fellow we go with a lot, he's been doing it for 50 years. His daughter actually broke her, got her arm broke Damn. by a 50 or 60 pound fish. You, you ever reach in there and get surprised by like a snapping turtle or anything? Never been anything but a catfish. Wow. wow. Now we do have some places we go that's a little sketchy and you'll be in the water and you'll look up and a Gator head will pop up. Ooh. Ooh. Girl, I'm out. From you. Now, what size are you uh, in stature? How tall are you, Hannah? I'm short as heck. I'm five foot flat. Wow, and you're five foot tall. And just wrangling these cats. And wrangling these catfish. Probably a pretty good fight every <laughs> now and then. 
Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, I mean that's amazing that you with, the, with your stature, you know, you got more of a petite stature, to go in there and get that. I mean, getting a fish that's sixty pounds—that's half your body weight. She's like the Paige Van Zandt of catfishing. Yeah. Right? Um, well, it sucks about being short, though. Is sometimes when I can't touch to come up and get air, everybody else can. Oh Oof. yeah, toss on that snorkel, but, girl. Yeah, do you wear a when snorkel? I my big fish. I never tried that. Which really, when like the blue cat I caught the other day, I keep going back to that because it's the only fish I've caught this year, and she about whooped my tail. Wow. I'm surprised but, more blind people but, don't try this sport. Really? It's kind of a, well, she doesn't need to see. It's all about feel. Oh yeah, that's right. It's all about feeling, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, you don't even have to feel. You just stick your arm in there. I used to go in with my hand open mm-hmm. and feel around. But last year, I got this finger. One of them got a hold of it and twisted it, and they thought it broke my hand. Jesus. Like, my whole palm turned blue and everything, and we went and found out it was just really bad sprained. Damn. Which I broke my hand a few times, and that hurt worse than when it was sprained. But now I go in with a fist. You just go straight so when in. They bite, <laughs> feel they'll it. bite my whole arm. Damn, girl. Wow. And so uh, this is the last question that I have is, um, do you uh, – oh, shoot, I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a question. Uh, Say something. Are you going to be noodling your entire life, you think? Like how long are you going to do I this? Hope, well, well, until I'm too old to, and then – Does your does your mama noodle? My kids will. My mom doesn't. What does my she think about does, it? But like I said, we just started about eight years ago when our local game warden, Brad Gavins, took us. Brad Gavins. Shout out to Brad. But my mom and dad are divorced. My mom wants to try it, so I'm probably going to try to take her sometime this year. She's getting pretty excited about it. Are 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 you surprised by the kind of the notoriety and the the fame you've gotten from noodling? Yes, I, it it was all an accident, really. Um, I was always like the weird girl in high school oh, and yeah. all because back then it wasn't cool to hunt and no. fish and all as a girl. In Alabama, and it's not cool. I feel like the cool kid would show up in camo. It wasn't then. It was for the guys, but not for the girls. That I, makes sense. I've got breakups because I hunted too much. Oh, so, wow. Damn. Yeah, but the reason all of this started is we bought like a little piece of junk video camera eight years ago. And to, or, no, not eight years ago. This all started. The social media stuff started in 2016. We brought a little video camera just to test out. Recorded one video, and I posted it on Instagram, catching about a 30-pound catfish. My cousin's talking in the background. It sounds like a redneck real bad. Yeah, <laughs> real bad. <laughs> real bad. Real like, bad. worse than I do right now. Oh, I like but it, But I man. posted I that, it. and it got reshared several times. Somebody reposted on Facebook, got over 20 million views. Jesus. Ever since then, it all started growing. Now, but it was all on accident. I didn't send it to anybody. It just happened. happened. And do you think it's because of the cat, or do you think it's because you're an attractive lady? <laughs> well, I think it's a little bit of everything. Plus, my cousin talking sounding like a redneck in the background. <laughs> True. And at that point, nobody had really seen much noodling other than like the hillbilly hand fishing TV shows. Yeah, and even then, it, it wasn't heard of much. You know, now I feel like it's growing a lot, and a lot more people are doing it. But at that point, I feel like, you know, it it was unheard of. Yeah, people didn't see it much. <clears throat> so I kind of opened the door to all that. I feel like you sure it, did. We it, wouldn't we wouldn't know about it if we if we didn't see you. Yep. And I I know me and Theo. <laughs> if, if we get into noodling, we're gonna come down and see you if you take us out. I don't come know. On. Could we do it if we came down? Do you think we could fit emotionally yeah. handle it? Well, I can't. Oh, yeah, we take new people all the time. We've got several new people coming this year that have no idea. My best friend can't swim, and she's not sure if she wants to. Oh, hell yeah, I want to watch that. Yeah, I'll watch her. Anybody can do it, though. I'll go down underwater and get her. Yeah, (laughs) and I'll get the fish with you. Yeah. Uh, come on. Hannah, well, it's a date. Hannah, thanks so much. When we get near Alabama, we'll definitely come and, uh, and experience this. That would be hilarious. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, thank you so much, and, and uh, best of luck at your friend's wedding. I hope you uh, hope you guys have a nice time. Thank you. I sure do appreciate it, and I hope y'all are doing well, too. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Take care. Protect them thank elbows. Y'all. Bye, See Hannah. <clears throat> them fish wow. don't stand a chance. Wow. Dude, it's hard not to talk you- with an accent. I was like, well, God darn, girl. Really? Well, damn, girl, what you doing? Oh, yeah. yeah it's tough. Dude, that chick, what did you think of that uh, of that young lady, um, Chappelle? I thought it was insane. That, that I saw people tagging her, and that's how I found her, and I sent it to uh, Nick. 
I was like, yo, she's like the queen of noodling. <laughs> what would you think just now when we talked to her? Oh, she's a great person. She's uh, very, yeah. like, you know, great spirited. What? She's, what, what, she's, what, she's what an attractive say? noodler. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's cool. She's yeah, if I were a fish too, I'd go at her. <laughs> Me too. I'd try to bite her legs and shit. Dude, I, yeah, rather than some I'd budget try, ass chick, you throw, yeah. big, you, you know, you throw thick Tiffany down there. Yeah, dog. the fish ain't biting. <laughs> yeah, they're they biting that. They're trying to deep throat her arm, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Uh, some of the fish definitely have more of a homoerotic tendency. Yeah, trying to suck on her neck and <laughs> yeah. shit. Trying to give her hickeys and shit. Yeah, and catfish are thugs. Some of the fish are just like, hey, throw a man down here, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Throw that old boy out of oh, here this, again. this hot hose that back down here in the water. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy that the the animals in there are just ready to bite, you know? Ready to Protecting go. the eggs. That'd be scary. I don't know if I'm ready for mm. it. Would you do it, Kat? Um, I don't know. And it should be in your blood. Vietnamese is a lot of fishing. Yeah, a lot of fishing. My uh, dad and my grandpa were fishermen in Vietnam before they left. Wow. Wow. So this is to be right up your alley, Kat. It should be, but it might be home base for you. you get yeah. in the water, mm-hmm. just like man, it feels natural. Yeah, imagine, Kat. Mm-hmm. If you were this, you imagine you could be, you'd be a sensation. I feel like in this sport. Yeah, you in could, noodling. Yeah, you could be the. Yeah, the, yeah, you could be the queen of noodling. Yeah, it rivals. Was, if, if you want, <laughs> if you want, I think quickly. If you went into it, you could definitely. definitely. You'd be yeah. You would take it over, probably get sponsorship. Because this, this is probably big in Vietnam, isn't it? Uh, you know, this sounds like something every Vietnamese fisherman probably does on the weekend. Do they have catfish in Vietnam? Yeah, yeah. we love catfish. I, wow. Damn. This is just check, 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 all boxes. And her name's Cat. <laughs> she, she's True. cat fishing. Cat, cat yeah. fishing. And you get your toes out, cat. <laughs> Maybe oh, stick your foot true. in one of the holes. <laughs> the boys go crazy. Start an yeah, OnlyFans gonna... account for our noodling. Yeah, she's going to catch half cat, our fans. I know fans. the catfish would like it. <laughs> she's going to catch half our listeners. Right? <laughs>